Hey, what's up, guys? Claude Astray here. Just got out of the shower. Want to film this guy, this video for you guys. Um, basically, today we we're doing a Supreme Shoe unboxing, but not just any Supreme Shoe unboxing. We we're doing a Yeezy unboxing. So, you guys are probably wondering, what Yeezy is it? What Yeezy could you have been a possibly been able to get? Well, boom. I got the Yeezy Boost 700, size nine and a half, UK size nine, and then whatever that one is, men's size nine and a half. So yeah, um, so put it this way, this is the 700, it's, it says Boost right there. Um, these are legit. I have the stock extra seat with them, but not on me right now. Um, shoot. As you can see, the tags are still in here. Um, so these are the tags. Oh, I'm trying not to separate them, but we got the Yeezy Boost 700 tag right there, and then the uh, brand tag right there. So yeah, these are legit. So let's go on ahead and take out the shoe. We got one right here. I bought these dead stock. Um, but I put them on a couple of times just to try them on. They are still factory laced though, which is uh, really nice. Um, so here, before we get to the shoe, here's another look at the box. Um, the back, it says Easy Boost 700 made by Adidas. Got the boost right here. So uh, that's the box. Now onto the shoe itself. Um, I really like this shoe. Um, not many people like the 700s, and actually right now, the uh, as you can see, it has the reflective stuff right there. But the market is doing not so great on these, which is good for me because I don't have to pay as much. Because, like, these are retailing for $300, but on StockX, I only paid about, like, $240 for this pair. Right now, I think they're at, like, $255, but I got a, a better deal with this one. Um, sadly, though, I did. The only thing that um, – so, overall, this is a good shoe, but, like, the only thing I don't like is um, – there's some creasing right here though because like you know with um a lot of shoes they crease uh, i think this is probably this yeezy and the yeezy um 500s i think the other ones crease the 350s don't crease but the only thing is on the on the um bottom sole uh i feel like like uh, some marks start taper but that's besides the point so as you can see we have the three reflective stripes right here we also have some reflective material right there and then there's also this reflective material right here and here. These are factory laced. I decided to keep them factory laced because I just like how they look that way. I don't like to like regularly lace them. As you can see, there is the Yeezy Adidas. Let me actually uh, take the insole out for you guys to look at. I also like this insole because it's like colorful even though I don't get to look at it. But yeah, so <laughs> here's the main insole. As you can see, it's like there's the uh, Adidas symbol right there. Um, it's like this green, it has like green and, uh, orange, yellow, I mean yellow, reddish to it. <clears throat> oh, these are, I got a little bit of dirt on them, but as you can see, here's the, the Yeezy Adidas and the Orth, what is this, Orthlight? I think it's a company that, um, made the reflect, makes the reflectiveness of it. I gotta get this out. But yeah, um, on the inside, as you can see, there's the, uh, Boost right there. Um very nice right this is the bottom of the shoe looks like there's the adidas symbol right here and then yeah that's that um there it also comes with this nice uh sway you can like you can see it changes uh but overall it's a pretty good shoe there's some leather right here um there's like the uh there's like i said the three straps right here um you can there's holes here for you to lace them but Honestly, I don't want to. I want to keep them factory laced. Here's, here's the other shoe. As you can see, there's a reflectiveness right there. Got the same stuff going on here with the Adidas Yeezy Ortholite. Same bottom. I put Crep Protect on these, but um, I only like the Crep Protect cleaning kit. The Crep Protect itself, I don't think it, I don't think it like works good on Yeezys. But what I did put, what it does work good on, is just like the bottoms. Uh, right here where it's a different type of material since this is like I don't think it works on this type of material just like the, the bottom and also the bottom part right here but yeah um uh let me see if I can get a closer look at the uh, I don't know if you guys can see this but there is the the tag right there get the focus
because there is a tag right there with like the Yeezy embedded and there's the, I can't get it to focus. It's not, it's not focusing, but you can get an idea of it. Um, but yeah, that's that. Overall, I really like this shoe. I'm considering getting another pair. Uh, uh, for my the other shoe that I'm gonna review is the Yeezy um, 350 uh, Frozen Yellows. I got those also. But the, the others, then the, I have uh, opportunity to buy one more pair of shoes. And I'm afraid for now. I tried copying the Travis Scotts, but I couldn't get them. Um, they sold out super quick, and uh, I didn't get a chance to win the uh, raffle because you entered. Uh, and then you'd get raffled. They, they would get raffled and unfortunately I was unable to get them But that just means I can get another pair of Yeezys. So yeah, um, I will be picking up the analogs I actually have um, I need to upload it, but I actually have um, footage of me getting these um, uh, I have footage of me getting these and I got them legit check that sneaker something that's like my official legit checking store That's where I go. That's where I like get all my sneakers checked. I really like them uh, They all have a bunch of supreme stuff. I actually bought my supreme sticker of my box logo from them But I really like that store. So they're like my sneaker legit checkers They have like OG Yeezys there and stuff. They have V1s and V2s. But yeah, overall, I really like this shoe um still really happy i bought them i was able to get them dead stock uh for the price that i paid it was pretty good um <clears throat> overall i think these are a really good shoe and um i know a lot of y'all may not have the money to buy these but um uh if you guys can't afford these a uh, shoe that i do recommend that's made by adidas is the nmds those are a bit cheaper and they're still uh, very comfortable. A lot of the a lot of the Adidas shoes uh, tend to have this boost material, and the boost material is what makes it super comfortable. Like when I put these on, dude, these are so freaking soft. But um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed that review video that I just did. Um, I will. Uh, okay, so back uh, now to the Robloxian stuff, guys. I haven't left. I will be playing Roblox. I just been like super busy lately. Um, once the summer ends, I'm gonna try to upload uh, more uh, Roblox gameplay videos. Uh, so what my schedule is basically try to focus around mm2 and a few other games uh, I want to start playing the if you guys watch flamingo I'm pretty sure all of my viewers watch flamingo because flamingo is literally the funniest roblox youtuber there is uh, He recently made all those like uh, sad story and like um, <laughs> Sue tart stories really popular So I've been wanting to check those games out because I've seen him do it But like I I want to get a chance to like play and experience them. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video Don't forget to drop a like and I will see you guys later